So this is a very natural question for people to ask. I've been sued in Alabama by a debt collector, say Midland, LVMV, Portfolio, one of those types of companies. Can the collection lawyer make me testify at the collection trial? Or is that not allowed? Well, it really depends on whether you're in the courtroom. I mean, physically in the courtroom or if it's a Zoom courtroom, in the Zoom courtroom. And so let's start with this. Do you have a lawyer representing you? If the answer is yes, then for that collection lawyer to be able to force you to testify, they have to subpoena you to make sure you're at trial. Or if you decide voluntarily to show up at trial, and there could be some strategic reasons for that. But if that happens, then they can get you to testify. Now, if you do not have a lawyer, then you must appear at your trial. If you do not appear at your trial, you'll lose by default. So the debt buyer, the debt collector will be able to get a default judgment against you. So you'll see the pattern here is if you are at trial, you can be questioned. So let's just go through it. You show up voluntarily. Guess what? You're at trial so they can question you under oath. You get subpoenaed. You got to appear. So if you're at trial, you get questioned. If you're representing yourself, we often call that being pro se. You don't have a lawyer. You must appear at trial or you get a default judgment. So if you appear at trial, you will be questioned. Now, this sort of naturally raises the, the question or the concern, well, how do I do that? If I'm going to be testifying, how do I do that properly? There's kind of two ways we can approach this. One is from sort of a, the idea of here's what you should do. And the other perspective is here are the mistakes that people make when they testify in these types of collection trials. So I've kind of combined those and we talk about the seven mistakes. So if you think about the seven things you should not do, if you just flip those around, those are seven things you should do. Okay. Now we have a pretty popular video from 2019 on this. I don't know. It's maybe 25 or 30 minutes long. I'll be doing an updated version of that in a couple weeks. So you can definitely go check out the 2019 one. It's still very valid, very accurate. Uh, but if you also want to see the new version, either check back with our channel or you know do the subscribe and the notification button. And that way you'll be notified as new videos come out, including that video. And I think whether you watch the 2019 version or the one that we're going to do, or if you read a little booklet that we made on this probably back in 2008, these seven mistakes have not changed. These are core principles. Okay, so we might be doing it over Zoom. We might be doing it in person. I mean, there's, there's sort of details change, but these core principles do not change. And so I think you'll find it very helpful if you're in a collection case and you may have to testify and this is a collection case in Alabama. Now, I think it'll be helpful for people in other states, but obviously you have to check with your state, your laws, get with a lawyer in your state. So appreciate you guys watching this and I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.